All right, so this is going to be the AC bay. So we bought a mini split system and we're gonna put it in this bay. So this is the bay we've kind of elected to have as the mini split. So there's, there's already kind of half a floor here. So what we're doing today is we bought a piece of metal um, to make the other half of the floor so the two feet have a really firm place to stand on. So um, we've never welded before. <laughs> So this will be our first attempt at welding. So we're cleaning up um, the iron that's in here now. Uh, we're cleaning everything up so we have some clean surfaces to weld with. And then we will weld that in and then um, uh, then we will drill some holes for the uh, the rubber mounts that the uh, that the AC unit will sit on. So right now we, are, we bought a flapper wheel and we're just cleaning this metal up and then we will weld it and then put a fresh coat of paint on it to keep it from rusting. So that's the plan. that time. Alright, so tonight we are working on the bus again. Um, today we're going to do the AC bracket. So this is the bracket that, uh, for the inside that our mini split came with. And as you can see, it's, it's quite flimsy and there's really nowhere to hang this. So we, um, we actually welded up a different bracket that's much more substantial. So this one's made out of um, 3 16 inch steel that we then uh, cleaned up and had powder coated. So um, we're gonna hang this in the bus. So this will hang where the sign goes and then, um, and then this bracket will fit like this on top of it. And so the AC will actually be hanging on this heavy duty bracket which is attached to the kind of a factory bracket that it came with. So that's the plan. We've drilled some holes and stuff out already. We're gonna mount this metal thing to um, the metal thing that came with it to the metal bracket that we made and then we'll mount this in the actual bus. All right, well it's a hot, humid night in Arizona. It's super humid right now so we're sweating really bad. 
But we've got the, um, the bracket is hung up now. And so we've got four screws holding it up here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws securing into this piece here. And then we've got two up here to hold this lip. So the way that the um, the way that the AC mounts up is it it goes up onto these, then drops down and and um, snaps into these guys. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to to secure it maybe a little bit more firmly for when we travel, but. This um, is extremely sturdy, so we built it out of 3 16th inch metal, and the unit itself only weighs maybe, I think it's 20 pounds, so um, this should be more than enough to hold it in place and keep it up there. So um, the unit will go here, we'll run lines all the way down the bus, um, down into the bay, and then um, the compressor and the co and the uh, the evaporator, everything's going to be downstairs. So this unit's going to be up here. That's going to be down in a bay. Um, hopefully it'll work out. Um, we're going to go ahead and test fit it tonight just to make sure that we can kind of get over this lip. Um, we tried it a whole bunch before we drilled all these holes, but you, you never really know until it's the day. So um, we're going to try to put it on here real quick and then um, see how it looks and see how it fits. All right, so I guess all that measuring paid off because it uh, it slipped in pretty it slipped in pretty easy. So um, it's in there and it's um, it's not going anywhere. So it's it's pretty secure. So we're gonna take it down and start to wire it up and uh, get ready to run the lines and stuff like that so that we have um, some AC in here. All right, so this morning we've been working on the AC. Um, we've got it all hooked up, um, the electrical part of it. And on the inside, we've hooked up the electrical for the inside unit as well as uh, the drain hose. Um, kind of a funny story on the drain hose. We thought we would heat shrink it together, and then um, we actually melted through one of the plastic things. So we had to go buy a different uh, drain tube. So we bought this plastic one. But this is all put in the bay. Um, it still needs the two copper lines. So there's two copper lines, uh, a thick one and a small one. And then um, the system will need to be uh, pressure tested and then vacuumed. And then there's a little release valve that releases the Freon into the system. So um, we're almost there. Most of the major parts are put together, but we need an AC guy to kind of do the vacuuming and the um, and the setup of the uh, the copper lines. So we're we're almost there. Almost have AC. So our AC is installed and working. So we've currently set it to 62 just to cool things down, but it's up and it's just kind of temporarily held in place right now. And they go through the floor and into the unit. So um, it's about 108 today in Arizona and really humid. So this thing's working pretty hard. Um, we had our friend and neighbor right next door. He's an AC guy, so he helped us hook it all up and uh, ran the lines for us and everything and tested it out and it's been running probably for a good maybe hour, hour and a half and it's cooled down about 10, 15 degrees in here. It's about 91 in here now, about 108 outside. So we've got, um, we've got this temperature probe. So if we kind of shoot it up in the thing, we see it's pulling 66 degrees out of there. And then if we go downstairs, uh, to the bottom unit. We'll show you where that's installed. All right, so this is where we installed the outside unit. So this has got a mesh cover over it, so it's a lot of room to breathe. Um, the instructions for this thing say that we needed 12 inches in the back and then um, like 72 inches in the front. So the 72 inch is not a big deal because this is a mesh thing, but there's no way we're gonna get 12 inches in the back. So this is as good as we could get. Um, 
we had our friend install all the lines and everything and it's currently running at full blast and it is super quiet so we're pretty happy about that um it's much much quieter than than uh, the ac on top and um it's just really we can have a conversation you can barely hear that it's on so um anyway out here we're getting about 140 degrees so it's pretty warm so the ambient temperature outside like I said is about 108 um, or so but up in the up in the coils where we're getting rid of the heat it's about 140 or so so it's doing a good job so we're gonna wrap all these lines up and um, kind of there's a special tape that you put around them and dress them up a little bit and I'm um, just going to have to kind of build around them. But once we start building the inside, it'll be really nice to be able to have, you know, some AC and, you know, have it be a little bit cooler in there while we build. So this is what the outside looks like. So we have hooked up a, um, uh, our kilowatt to it just to see how much power it was pulling. So right now it's pulling about 9.8 amps or so. We've seen it get as high as, I believe, 12 and we've seen it run as low as about uh, six, but it seems to, for at least for now, since we haven't set it uh, at 62 up there, um, and it's running full blast, it seems like 9.8 is where it's kind of settling down. And the cool thing is when it first started, um, it wasn't like that AC where there's this big jolt of power and then it settles in. It started real low and it was pulling like one amp, then two amp, then three amps, then four amps, and you could see the the fan just progressively gets like ramp up over time and I've heard that's one of the advantages of these um, they have like an inverter in them and they're um, they're variable speed and, and they're supposed to be very quiet and efficient and that's one of the advantages they don't hard start like a normal uh, like a normal AC and, and we did see that on the kilowatt we saw it ramp up so it was kind of a neat thing so anyway um, we're pretty happy with it um, hopefully it'll Hopefully it'll last. They're not meant to bump around and anything like that in the um, in, in an RV environment, but we'll see how it holds up. So we'll uh, we'll report back maybe sometime when we're out on the road to see how it's held up. All right, today is the day we get to take that beast of an air conditioner off of the roof. We've been waiting for this, and now that we have our mini split going we get to take that thing off. So we already took off the interior portion of it. So Juan's up and we are gonna work on trying to take off the top part without uh, breaking anything. <laughs> okay, here we go. Down. What do you think? <clears throat> you 
You think I'm strong enough to hold it up there? Yeah. Okay. Let me get down. Well, pull it back up then. It's like hanging off the edge, so slide off. scares the crap out of me right now. Okay. Hold on. Easy, huh? 